Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous video, we found the solution, or we found the probability, of finding a particle between x equals 0 and x equals L over 4 in the first one quarter the distance from one side to the other side of a one-dimensional well. We found that to be about 9%. Now, when we take a look at our probability function here, you can see that if you go about one quarter of the way in, that this area underneath the curve here represents the probability and that ended up being about 9% like we found on the previous video. What we're going to do now is we're going to do the same thing but for the energy level n equals 2. Notice our wave function now looks different and we calculate the probability function of that. The probability function looks like this. If we go one quarter the distance from one side to the other side, this is L over 4, then we find that this should represent, the area need to curve, should represent the probability. And if we then normalize it over the entire curve, it looks like that should be about 25%. Now let's calculate it out and let's see if that's the result we're going to get. So again, we're going to integrate over the wave function squared because there's no imaginary part there, so it's simply the wave function squared. Otherwise, we would have to multiply the wave function by its complex conjugate. We multiply times dx and then integrate over the interval we're interested in. So when we do that, we get the following. We can pull out the 2 over L, so this is equal to 2 over L, and then you can see that the sine square of this angle, we're going to separate that using a trigonometri trigonometric identity that would be 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of twice that angle, 2n pi x over L times dx. So now what we're going to do is we're going to separate those two into two separate integrals. So this is equal to, and we can put the 1 half outside, this is 1 over L times the integral of dx evaluated from 0 to L over 4 and then minus. Now we're going to need a proper differential because the angle is 2n pi x over L so the proper differential is going to be L well 2n pi over L times dx so we're going to need this in reverse or L divided by 2n pi times the integral from 0 to L over 4 of the cosine of 2n pi x over L dx. Oop, no, we don't have the proper differential there. I went through all this trouble. So I, I would be able to write the following, 2n pi over L dx. Now I have the proper differential to integrate this particular function. Of course, we might as well close the brackets. All right, so now we can go ahead and do both integrals. So this is equal to 1 over L times, we have X evaluated from 0 to L over 4, and then minus L divided by 2N pi. The integral of the cosine is the positive sign. Let's see here. The derivative of the sine is the cosine, so the integral is the positive, yes. So we have the sine of 2N pi X over L. Remember that in this case, n is equal to 2, evaluated from 0 to L over 4. Let's close the brackets here. When we evaluate this one right here, we're plugging the lower limit, we get 0, so we only need the upper limit. So this is equal to 1 over L times L over 4 for the first integral, minus, well, we have L divided by 2 times 2, which is 4 times pi, times the sine of, when we plug in the upper limit, we get L over 4, but remember this is 2, so we get 2 times 2, which is 4 pi L over 4 times L. And then when we, we Let's see here, I'm going to need another bracket because then I have to subtract when I plug in the lower limit, so minus the sine of 0. Let's see, do I have no brackets here? Yes, I do. All right. Now let's try to simplify that. So here we have a 4 and a 4, an L and L, so we get the sine of pi, well that's 0, 
minus the sine of zero, which is zero as well. So this whole part right here goes completely to zero. All we have let end up with is this result right here, which means that the probability of finding the particle between zero and L over four is going to be just this first result, and the L's cancel out, which means it's equal to one quarter, which is 0 0.25 the exact result we were expecting when we take a look at the probability function here, realizing because the symmetry, the particle has a probability of 25% of being between zero and L over four. It looks like 25% between L over four to L over two, another 25% between L over two and three quarters L over four, and another 25% between the last, uh, for, to find it within the last one quarter of that region. So that, you can see that the probability function really works well in determining the probability of finding a particle in a particular interval as it's moving back and forth between the two ends of your infinite, one-dimensional infinite well. And that's how it's done.